we are going to talk to Mr. GPS because this is the big story going on this week. This actually, this whole, this is the beginning of a new life for Mr. GPS. Why? Ladies and gentlemen, this is our grandpa report here. So before, you know, for any further ado, you know, without any further ado, excuse me, we go right to the source, the, the Tower of Power himself, Mr. GPS. Good afternoon, sir. Please let us in on this breaking news. Okay, so at 5.43 a.m. Monday morning, Uh oh. Noah David, my, grands- my grandson, has come into the world. All right. Um, Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. So uh, we've already got pictures of that, uh, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Got pictures with the baby went down there Monday night. Um, you no, know, hung around for a couple of hours, okay. Come on back home, kind of basking in this thing. Now that it's real, you held it in your hands. You right. Know, um, mm-hmm. And as you can see, the story or the fantasy of what it was going to be or what we thought it was going to be is now starting to change. Mm-hmm. It's starting to sink in a little just bit. cry one time and then you put him down and that's it. No. He's crying every two hours because he's a hungry little son, okay? <laughs> I mean, she had to feed him about three times inside of two hours that we were there. Wow. That's about right. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, let's see. I don't think you've... It changed twice, so... Oh, wow. In a span of, what, five minutes or something? Or? Oh, hell, we were down there a couple hours. Okay. Very um, nice. But you can see certain things are starting to change in the mind. Because uh, you're not just going to feed it and it's going to be quiet and, you know, you're going to be able to do other stuff while it's just laying there. No. Uh-uh. Okay. You are now on stage 24-7, 365, mm-hmm. well, at least the next 18 to start. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's this pretty true. one cool. of the most ultimate preseason uh, situations you're ever going to have in life. Preseason? Okay? Shit. Well, what did they say, Marsha? They're on the watch. On the watch. Baby time on the watch. Oh, man. It just got real. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that so, is uh, an understatement. And then the next day, my my son calls me and says, uh, Dad, do you have a car seat? I said, excuse me. What? That's not the right question. Yeah. But yeah. The correct question is, do you have one? <laughs> and why don't you? It's you getting good. All day Sunday. You was down there all day Monday. Mm-hmm. Damn word to nobody. Nope. And now you want an entity? Was there a baby shower? Not that I know of. I'm just a little confused because, like, those are things you have to have before the baby gets there. Well, then, uh, when you don't know what's going on, but you don't want nobody else to know what's going on, this is what you kind of have. How long can Except, you keep it on the low? <laughs> until you need something. Yeah, because we weren't, because it, I, we weren't invited to baby shower, you know. <laughs> it already happened. Wait a minute, it already happened. I don't baby know. Sh- I don't know if it had was one or not. It you had to tell be me, one, man. Let's just say if there were ten people, if there were ten mothers, or sisters, or cousins, right. you need to tell me nobody thought of a car seat. You make a list. Check it twice. Check it, check it twice. And you, nobody said car seat. Nobody. What do they think? They're going to put it in a basket? Like you put some biscuits in there or something? Oh, no, we just going to walk out of here and they're not going to see. Nah, man, they did. No, like that's called shit. kidnapping, bro. That's called kidnapping. We don't do no, that. They, they doing old school, man, back in the days. And my mom told me, she's like, we had no damn car seats. <laughs> just uh, like, you just wow. put the baby in your lap. You put the baby in your lap and that was it. You oh, it was like a swaddle or something like that? Uh-oh. Not Hold even that, shit. man. Not even yeah, that. Nowadays, you have to... Uh, you have to show them that you have the car seat before they let the baby go. Oh, yeah, Correct. They got to hold it up. Correct. They got to see it. They got to see that before see it. now. But back they don't then, know you know. like that. Man. That's my next question. Who took the baby out of the hospital? Did it? it yeah. Uh, I believe the mother drove the daughter home. That's what I was told. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so she had the so car seat. So there is the car seat. For them, so yeah. For for, yeah. 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 Well, my question is to him. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you say something to somebody? Way before this. Your aunt Melissa said to you, do you need a car seat? The answer should have been yes. She would have gave you the car seat, the base, mm-hmm. boom. It would have yeah. been B. But no. Yeah. Now somebody's got to run around and try to find the right one. 
Oh man. See, this is that last minute shit I'm trying to teach him. It's mm-hmm. gonna cost. This is gonna start costing you. Right. Now I don't mind this for him because I know you knew this. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna start charging your rates, okay? Yes. Because this is getting ridiculous already. You already know what's coming. Okay. Mm, for formula. It needs to be on your list every week. You gotta upgrade the car seat every couple of months, man. You gotta yeah. get like a new well, because buy, they grow. Yeah, well, okay, when I went and did this shop, and it was really quick education into the evolution of car seats and how you could get the ninety-nine dollar one, or you could get the three hundred and ninety-nine dollar one, which uh, you know you can turn it around almost like a captain's chair. And, what the hell? I mean, what, I what does know, it come I, with? I, like I, a, like an ashtray dispenser? And um, a cooler on the side and a heater over here. No, no, that's the job. <laughs> because they use it as a crib. They use the car as a, as a par- partial crib also. If you get the upgraded one like that, you can also, you don't have to put the baby in the crib, but I would not do that. I would not do that. <laughs> well, no, I, I got just, a, probably I, I, listen, I got a, mid, I got a mid-range one, because all he's going to do is go from A to B, and you're going from, the, from here to the doctor and back. Yeah. That's the most outside you're going to see. Well, let, let's hope so. Let's hope there's like no road trips with the baby yet. Give the baby a chance to, to develop and, you know, and get its immune system. Because, I mean, that's the most important thing right now is to keep oh, the baby yeah. safe. No, no, it's only going to doctor's visits at this point, man. Usually they, they tell you, they, they discourage you from even taking the baby out. It's, mm. it's you at home with that baby. The only time you take the baby out, you go to doctor's point. 